Hello, people of YouTube. As I said before, we were hunting for a second car for my wife after getting the X6. She wanted a Z4. We started looking for a Z4. She test drove it and came to the conclusion that it wasn't practical. Too small, only seats too. So we moved our search to the 3 Series. We borrowed it for a 24-hour test drive and the same thing. Test drove it, uh, too small. So, back to what I knew we were gonna get. What do you replace a 5 Series with? Another 5 Series. So, what I have behind me here is my own garage and I'm gonna show you. So there we have it, the F10 2013 BMW 528i in cashmere silver metallic. It adds 240 horsepower to our stable. So, yeah, so you can see my uh, E23 over here on this side. She's off to work driving her X6. So we're gonna take a tour of our new 528i. There we have it. Originally, she did not like the color when we saw it online. But when we went down to the dealership, it kind of grew on her. First we saw it at night, then we saw it during the daylight, and she really liked the color after all. Let's go for a quick walk around. Beautiful LED lights in the back. Obviously all the 5 series come uh, standard with uh, xenon headlights. And you can tell it's a 4 cylinder or I'm sorry or a 528 by having two tailpipes on the left side. The 535i would have one round tailpipe on each side of the car. It has a sport package with the upgraded 18 inch wheels. Standard equipment is 17 inch. Here's the key. Lock. Unlocked. But, so you can see the rib pattern here on a door handle. It means it's got the comfort axis. So you just put your hand in there and it unlocks. So let's climb inside, start it up, and see what it sounds like. The feature that really won me over the head-up display and this will be our first BMW ever to have a head-up display. This vehicle here is equipped with the um, optional instrument class cluster or something. It displays different modes here under the speedometer. Obviously it has the navigation with the satellite radio of course. My wife that was one of the features she could not go without. Uh, also has the uh, cold weather package with heated front and rear seats. It has the electronic dampers which go from uh, Sport, Sport Plus, Comfort, Comfort Plus and back to Eco Pro. One of the things that uh, this car has different from our old E60, the sunroof shade is electric. It's not manual anymore, so you have to press this button here 
and the shade opens revealing the glass now if you want the glass to open you just push again sun shades for the rear windows Paddle shifters. Oh, let's go take a look at the engine. So, like I said, this is the four cylinder, the twin power turbo four cylinder, making 240 horsepower and I believe 260 pound feet of torque. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like a real small engine in a big engine bay. Of course, you know, this car also has room to fit in a inline 6 as well as a V8. But we wanted to go the eco route. So it doesn't waste too much gas. One of the things that this car really surprised me is on how soft it went when you compare it to the E60. Well, when you first start the car, it automatically goes into comfort mode. Then you could switch back to uh, Eco Pro or up to the sport mode or sport plus it really surprised me it went really really soft the power steering I believe is electric because it's like very very like almost reminds me of the floaty body Cadillacs from the oh, it's electric from the 80s and 70s but when you put it on in sport mode this car really transforms itself You can really, if you're cruising on the street, just doing 40, 50 miles an hour, it'll downshift. And then when you go to Eco Pro, it'll teach you, you know, a few things here and there on how to drive more economically. So I'm just going for a little ride around the block. Very quiet inside the car. One of the things I like, which this car is going to be mainly used for my wife's commuting and long trips uh oh i'm gonna stop sign and the engine just died on me the auto start stop function i guess i'll get used to it <laughs> well there it is it's just giving you guys a little update here on our new vehicle gonna give you guys another quick walk around of it shadow line trim which I like some of you already know that I'm not very keen on chrome well thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time